Good morning. This is Shelly with Yoga Bliss, sending you love, peace, and happiness. Every morning is a chance to be born again. Beginning our mornings out with gratitude will set us up in so many more ways than you can ever imagine possible. Place your hands on your hearts and connect with the physical beat of your heart. Take a moment to deeply inhale into the heart space and allow your jaw to drop. Allow your face and your body to melt down and exhale. Allowing yourself to let go. Exhaling is one of our most powerful forces. As we exhale, we allow ourselves to let go. Another deep breath, deep into the heart center. Dropping the shoulders down, allowing yourself to freely exhale. Another deep breath down into the belly. Melting deeper down into your seat. Letting go. On this beautiful morning, I am sharing with you a meditation of affirmations to help you change the way that you think so you can change your life. The thoughts that we think set up our entire day. The thoughts that we think mold our whole day, moment by moment, day by day, week by week, year by year, our thoughts are creating our future. Today is a new day to change those thoughts. Let our first thoughts be thoughts of gratitude, thoughts of love. As the feelings of gratitude flow to me, I truly feel the goodness of life. I can feel all of the love surrounding me. I connect to the beat of my heart and I'm thankful for the small things in life. Take a moment to get comfortable. If you are still in bed, this is great. I recommend you setting alarm if you choose to be in bed for the entire length of this meditation, just in case you peacefully doze off. And if you fall asleep, leave worries behind. Your subconscious mind is always on and listening. And the sounds of this gratitude meditational affirmation will flow where they need to be. Allow yourself to trust. Allow yourself to let go. And in this moment, together, surrender to what is. Let go of judgments and perceptions. Allow yourself to accept where you are here in this moment, being okay with whatever thoughts or feelings or emotions are arising. Adjust your body, settle your feet into what is comfortable. Cozy down in your favorite chair, snuggle up with a fluffy pillow, Hug a blanket, grab your favorite cozy blanket, or find your meditation pillow, blanket, or cushion, and relax into your favorite sukhasana, the easy pose, also known as crisscross applesauce. If this pose is your comfortable position, Find that space, that edge between comfort with a raised heart, an elongated spine, and a soft little tuck, a little humble tuck to the chin for optimal energy flow. I am are the two most powerful words spoken in all of languages, in all of humankind. Make your I am's what you want, beginning by softening your gaze, 
face. Finding that little sliver, something a little soft glimmer to concentrate on. As you settle in, you are safe and protected. I am so happy and grateful for my breath. I am so happy and grateful for the beat of my heart. I am so happy and grateful for my bed. I am grateful for my pillows. I am grateful for my cozy blanket. I am thankful for the warm bed. I am grateful for the structure which keeps me warm. I am grateful for the heat. I am grateful for the person next to me. I am grateful for the people in the rooms surrounding me. I am grateful for my neighbors who sleep rather close to me, closer than I can imagine. No matter where you are in your life, what circumstances you are in, facing health issues, concerns of poverty, you can choose to be grateful no matter where you are. Being grateful is a feeling and a mere thought inside. Simply being grateful will set you up for a positive and loving mindset, manifesting into a positive, loving life. Stressing and worrying leads to a path of spiraling negativity, a path where it seems that one thing goes wrong and the next thing goes wrong and everything keeps going wrong. In those moments, reflect where your thoughts were. What were the words? Was there anything to be grateful for? Or did we seem to leave that part out? The universe senses, feels, and hears all thoughts, perceptions, words, and actions. I am grateful for my feet who support me all day long. I give gratitude to each toe in the soles of my feet. Or I give gratitude to a chair with wheels who pushes me from moment to moment. I am grateful for the toiletries in my home. I am grateful for the sink for the soap which I lather and wash. I'm grateful for the shower which cleanses me, removing all negative energy. I am grateful for the porcelain toilet and all of the plumbing, removing all of the waste from my home. As you go deep within, imagine your heart as the sun. As thoughts arise, as clouds, Use your breath as the wind, breathing deeply into your heart center. The Anahata, Sanskrit for the energetic heart. The feeling of deeply connecting to yourself. The feelings of love and gratitude inside. As you soften your gaze, if you haven't already, gently close your eyes. Bring your awareness to your inner self, just as the sun is within. There are days where the clouds cover the sun, days of fog, days of rain, of overcast, days of snow, days of beautiful, reflective, bright light where the sun is shining, just as our inner self as we have thoughts, emotions, and feelings. No matter what the weather, the sun always rises, and the sun is always there. Like the sun, we know that our inner self is here. Being aware that we do not have to be overcome by feelings, thoughts, or emotions. Deeply inhaling into the heart space, Melting deep and letting yourself go. I am grateful for feelings of resistance or procrastination. 
who are teaching me how to surrender. I am grateful for feelings of poverty, poverty of money, poverty of people, poverty of things, poverty of life, poverty of mind, poverty of health, truly teaching me abundance and prosperity in all aspects of my life. I am grateful for anything I think I hate, as it is truly teaching me unconditional love. Hate is a perception, and I can choose to transmute hate into love. I send all I choose to hate love. I send all of my annoyances love, because I truly understand the annoyances are teaching me how to be calm and peaceful and teaching me patience. I am grateful for all I worry and fear, teaching me how to come overcome my worries and fears. I am grateful for all I control, knowing what I control is teaching me how to let go. I am truly grateful for those seemingly annoyances who I know are teaching me patience repeating this to myself over until I believe what I say is true. I am grateful for those moments and people I felt who have abandoned me or left me behind, who are really teaching me how to stand on my own two feet, or teaching me how to place my hands on my wheels, pushing myself forward. I am grateful for the feelings of anger the heat inside, the fire aspect of myself, which is teaching me forgiveness and teaching me how to feel true compassion for myself and others. I am grateful for the things and people I feel have power over me as I reflect the universe is teaching me how to take my power back because it has always been mine and I have truly never lost it. I am grateful for the home which I live in. I am grateful for all of the furniture inside of my home. Scan your home for your favorite piece of furniture. I am grateful for all of the appliances in my kitchen. Grateful for the refrigerator who keeps my food at the perfect temperature of cool and freezing items. I am grateful for all of the money that I have earned to stock and keep that refrigerator and pantry. I am grateful for my stove top, for my oven which warms and cooks food. I am grateful for my kitchen table where the joy of my house, the heart of my home is connected through. I'm grateful for the cabinets, for the dishes, the cups, my tea kettle, my coffee machine. Grateful for each bitty bitty silverware. I'm grateful for the soap in the sink. I'm grateful for the moments I wash dishes. I'm grateful for my couch. I'm grateful for the floor. I'm grateful for the smartphone, for my computer, for all of the TVs, for all of the media, all of the electronics in my home which help me connect with the entire world at the touch and click of one button. Technology is so amazing. I'm grateful for my vehicle. I'm grateful for all objects with wheels and motors. Anything in our life which is mechanical and out of alignment, as in our automobiles, our washing machines, our refrigerators, are merely a projection of our inward thoughts. Automobiles and appliances do not break down when we are in a state of gratitude, in a state of love. Take a moment to reflect on any mishaps of any technology in your surroundings or any accidents happening. What was your state of mind? What was your state of being? Where was your presence at in these moments? 
I am grateful for my washing machine. I am grateful for folding mountainous piles of laundry. I am grateful for hangers. I am grateful for clean clothes. I am grateful for ripped and fringed clothes. I am truly grateful for every item in my home. As I am grateful for my vehicle and the motor inside. Before I go anywhere, I send love and gratitude. I send love and gratitude to school before my children are dropped off. I send love and gratitude to the school bus. Sending love and gratitude to your place of work. Sending love and gratitude before you embark on a movement, an exercise, or a workout. Send love to a book you are reading. I send love to all appointments, whether they be doctors or scheduled appointments. I send love to the veterinarian. I send love to a parking spot. I take a deep breath before I park anywhere and I imagine a parking spot. And as I send loving gratitude, I trust that my parking spot will appear. I send love to the people that I will be in contact today with. I send love to my friends. I send love to my children, to my siblings, to all of my family, grandparents, aunts, uncles. I send love to all deceased ones. I send love to my guardian angels. I send love to my spirit guides. I send love to those closest to me. And mostly, I send love to those who annoy me or those who I have perceived as having a poor or hateful relationship with. I send love to them with a deep understanding that these people are merely doing the best that they can at their level of consciousness. I send them love. I send love to myself. I surround myself with love and anyone coming in contact with me can feel my feelings of love vibrating through my smile, through a handshake, through a hug, through a bow of the head, through a gentle numbness day, acknowledging the divine within others and the divine, the feeling of goodness within myself. I am grateful for all of nature. I am grateful for the sky, for every cloud, for every hue and cast and reflection into the sky. I am grateful for all of the people in my life. I am grateful for my partner. I am grateful if I am single for myself. I am grateful for my mind. I am grateful for my body. And mostly I am grateful for my soul. I am grateful for my health. I am grateful for all of nature. I am grateful for the trees, which give us all oxygen. I am grateful for all plant life. I am grateful for all animals and insects. I am grateful for the sun. I am grateful for the stars. I am so happy and grateful for the moon. I am so grateful for the snowy days. I am grateful for freezing temperatures. I am grateful for hot sunny days. I am grateful for cool, calm, springy days and rainy, dreary days. I am grateful for all seasons, fall, winter, spring, and summer. I am so happy and grateful for my job. I am grateful for my career path. I am grateful at the growth I have come to in this present moment. I am grateful for the beat of my heart. I am grateful for the breath which enters my lungs and gently exhales from my body, never asking for a thing in return. I am grateful for striving for my goals. I am grateful for motivation. I am grateful for the seemingly small moments in life. I am grateful for a hug, a handshake, a smile. I am grateful for the loving comfort and the lending of an ear to listen to someone in need. I am truly grateful for all that I have become here in this moment. I am grateful for the knowledge that I am enough. I have always been enough. I am accepting 
and grateful for this moment. I am grateful for the love in my heart. I am grateful I love myself. I am grateful for my health. I am grateful for any illnesses or diseases which have come upon me. I am grateful for my strength. I am grateful for thoughts of healing. I am grateful for healing. Within a moment, within a deep breath of love, I have the power to heal my body. I am grateful for the love in my heart. I am grateful that I can see the good in all people. I am grateful in a negative thought. I can in one moment turn it into a positive thought by shifting my awareness to gratitude. I am grateful for gratefulness. I am grateful for the love in my heart. I am grateful that my love shines and I reflect love to all surrounding me. I am so happy and grateful for the wealth and abundance in my life. I am happy and grateful for all the money and income and bills which flow to me. I am happy and grateful for passive income, money which comes to me and I put it back out into the universe. I am grateful for feelings and thoughts of prosperity. I free myself from thoughts of poverty and I move to a prosperity, wealthy mindset. I am so happy and grateful for this beautiful life. I am happy and grateful for the opportunity to start this day fresh. I am happy and grateful for a chance to live, for a chance to love, and a chance for gratitude.